So on that, I'm gonna say peace. And, and I'm gonna let y'all just, you know what, let's just go ahead and take today's nap. Today's math. Today's math is wisdom build and destroy. A God has a wise dome. So it's a duty of a God to take his wisdom to destroy the negativity within himself first and then destroy the negativity within the community. And then build up positive culture and positive habits and actions and ways within himself and build up a better me, a better you, and a better community. So you destroy the negativity and you build the good. Peace. Peace. I see it as wisdom. Wisdom is experience. And wisdom is also listening. So in wisdom build. I'm listening to I'm listening to all the um, all the builds. And I'm I'm, I'm deciphering what I, what can I use in my daily life. You know what I'm saying? Because after we leave the cipher, I go back to my realm. I see the world through my two eyes, you know what I'm saying? And I use it and I don't go into um I don't go into no conversation if I ain't gonna learn or teach. You know what I'm saying? So in this cipher, it's more knowledgeable gods, so I'm gonna just learn, sit back and just soak it all in. Cause when I take it back, it'll hit me like damn, man, I sharpen my sword, help me sharpen my sword, so I can move on from there. Peace. 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 See today's bad. Wisdom build or destroy as wisdom is basically the the action of all the knowledge that you've done on any situation. And, um, and a lot of times the knowledge that you've done on the situation, well that I've done on the situation, wasn't correct. So I had to come in and, and destroy. It, you know? And you know, do knowledge yourself. Learn how to build on the things that I've destroyed. So that's basically how. As God, I gotta take every day. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Yeah, just like you close out that build with peace, right? Which means that while you was listening, you was listening to who closed their build out with peace. You was like, all right, I know we're supposed to close out our build with peace. And you took that and you did that. See what I'm saying? So what you did is the same thing we do every day. With every little thing, you just gotta pay attention to it. So really, to be very specific, today's mathematics is wisdom build or destroy, all being born to knowledge cipher all being born to knowledge because that wisdom build or destroy right you add the two in there you end up with ten and then you break down that ten further you break it down to its single denominator form right that one that one number that you can reduce it to because we're dealing with the science of simplifying things to their most basic concepts and the most basic concepts occur in the supreme mathematics from knowledge to bond so you're going to end up with one of them units by the time you're done really taking it back so today's mathematics go all the way back to knowledge so it, as you said, whether you said it or not, I'm doing a knowledge to the cipher, and in the wisdom that you just built on, bro, you took it back to the knowledge. You took it back to you. Allah looked in the mirror, and he said, this knowledge degree of the student in Rome. First degree of the student in Rome is who is the original man? The answer is, the original man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, owner, cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, god of the universe. Within that answer, there are seven qualities seven traits that you can identify all the way from Asiatic to God of the universe from A to G and in those realizations as Allah said this degree to himself in the mirror some people say he said it a hundred times I don't doubt it because in the Sufi tradition and traditions throughout the world they have affirmations that they repeat they have mantras that they repeat they have things that they repeat so that they can ingrain it into their consciousness so if he said it this many times I don't see it as being no different than what anybody else throughout the ancient world has done to reaffirm a very challenging realization, which is that you are who all the people in the world have been looking for. That's a very daunting realization to have. Then you realize it's more of you and it gets easier. That's the beauty, once you realize it's more of you. So don't forget there's more of you. Don't forget you, don't forget that you are Allah, but don't forget that Allah is all inclusive. It ain't just one of us. When we say that we God, we're not putting ourselves as God above everybody. We're speaking about the supreme reality. We're speaking about the totality of all consciousness and all existence. Yet you personify that here in the flesh as the active principle. Your woman is the receptive principle. So she become the earth in which you plant your seed just like we do so right here on the physical earth. So this is a dynamic that you reproduce in your very own personal life. And once you see that okay I'm this it can be very very intimidating but the way that you alleviate them feelings and don't have no panic attack is you build with your brothers 
because in building with your brothers, you're going to see that somebody walking your same path. Allah used to say six eyes is better than three. You know, you got three eyes. You got a third eye. You got two eyes of physical eye, and then you got one eye that's the mind. Well, six eyes is better than three. That's why you're supposed to have a, somebody you roll with. You know what I mean? He would say, you know, if you're a black seed, you have your brown seed and the yellow seed. If you're a yellow seed, you need to have your black seed and the brown seed. This is about a combination of bringing different types of people together with different perspectives. You know? You know, because when... I've been walking around like a light-skinned motherfucker with wavy hair all my life. You know what I mean? I ain't been through it. Like, I done had a little bit of privileges and little, get to see little shit from my fucked up perspective. Whereas you might get to see shit from your perspective. And we bring those two perspectives together. Now we got a more well-rounded, more universal perspective on all life. I done walked the path to being a children, child of immigrants from Bangladesh. You know what I mean? So when I bring my perspective over, it's very different from what the black man in the wilderness of North America been through. So never you gonna hear me saying that I know exactly what it's like. Why the fuck would I do that? No, I speak on what I know, and if it empower you, beautiful. Because sometimes it's dope to hear a motherfucker that look like me say the black man is God. But the black man is God, and I don't say that shit for no cool points. I say that shit because it's what it is. And I know what my people look like. I know where my people come from. I know my people come, come from the same place everybody people come from. I ain't in no denial about it, though. Most of my people is in denial, which means I had to wake up to what? Knowledge of myself, too. The whole world needs to. When you see a person, I don't give a fuck if they're the most light-skinned Chinese person in the world. They need to wake up to the knowledge of themselves too. Even a white man need to wake up to the knowledge of himself because he don't even know what he is. Why you think they call themselves Caucasian? They don't know where they was before the Caucasus Mountains. They literally do not know. That's why they so messed up. You'd be messed up too if you was living his whole life in blindness like that. Hell yeah, you they searching, man. They can't find themselves and they hate. Dig up a million bones and never find one that look like you.